Welcome to tonight's press conference uh, for the match between Tilburg Trappers and Mosquitoes Essen. Uh, warm welcome to uh, Frank Genkes. Um, congratulations, Bo, on the 3 to 2 victory. Um, I'd like to ask the first question to uh, Sir Genkes. <laughs> the question is, um, your defense was very close and tight-knit this match. It was beautiful to see. How did you prepare them for this match? Yeah, good evening from my side. So first, before I talk over the game, congratulations for Bo and for Tilburg for the victory tonight, for the three points. Yeah, what we do is we talk about everything. Huh? We have to make it better than the last week. And it's always hard to play against the Tilburg. But I think we uh, all coaches and team and people saw a good game. Inter the hockey game, good over league game. And it was close. We go to the uh, first period with 1-0 uh, for us. So it gives a little bit of confidence for us. And then, uh, yeah, then, then go the same than in the other games. Young kid, 18 years, he make the mistakes, but I don't want to say something to him. He's young, that's why he's there, he has to learn. But they make a turnover, there was no four-trick or nothing, he lose the puck. Say always to him, take the first, uh, what is in the head, the first opinion. Do it, but he think too much, lose it. And then the second goal, four on four, there was a, come from the heart, you have to fight. And I see the same again, two guys don't fight there, we have to fight. And uh, yeah, when we uh, go like this, the same than last week, and uh, then we come back, and uh, I, but I think the team play good, we fight good, but Tilburg is so clever. They, uh, I say it every year, before their goal, with uh, Ryan Midas in the net, and they make a perfect job, so we have no place to play there. We get some rebounds, but we don't come to the, 100% for the net because they work very good. Yeah, and uh, we have to learn from this. And the kids have to learn from this, and the older players have to play better. That's for sure. We have two inputs in the team. We have to make it better. We have a guy from the DL, 41, young kid, but from the DL, we have to make it better. And the young kids always make a great job. They have to learn. So, congratulations. That's the same in every year. The rules on the top. And that's the reason for it. And, uh, and make it good. And uh, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much. We did see that beautiful spirit. Um, Bo, um, after the first intermission and the second intermission, there was a huge burst of energy from the team. Um, what exactly do you do to motivate them, or what do you do to get them back on the ice with full energy? Well, uh, yeah, the first period wasn't exactly our greatest period. Some guys were a bit, uh, a bit lazy, a bit comfortable. We didn't skate enough. We lost a lot of one-on-one -one battles. You know, we had to compete a lot harder. So we just went over a few little things in the dressing room. Uh, they were told what we're not doing, what we have to do, and they started skate, started to move, uh, started to do their job, and uh, yeah, we were a lot better than the second and, and the third. So that was uh, that was good to see. I think uh, I agree with Frank. Fans, uh, I think, seen a pretty good hockey game tonight. You know, it was uh, it was a lot of tempo both ways. Uh, you know, both teams defend pretty good, and uh, we have two good goalies. So it was uh, yeah, it was good tight hockey game. So uh, uh, yeah, we got two goalies uh, in a, in the third, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we made a you know bad turnover on the blue line in the last minute. There cost us a goal against. We get in our zone, they pull a goalie, and. Uh, you know, if we just manage the puck better there, get it deep, and uh, you know, keep it away from our net, probably could have stayed three-one. But overall, you know, hats down to our guys. Uh, it was uh, you know, good five game. You know, the the really young guys got uh, got some uh, good ice time again today. It's it's like Frank said, it's great for the young kids uh, to learn and uh, to get their ice time. So you know, happy with the result and happy with uh, especially the way we played the second and third period. Thank you very much. Um, Frank, um, in an earlier press conference you stated that uh, you wanted some of your players to give more than 110%. Um, I thought their uh, energy was beautiful this game. Uh, do you agree with me on that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, yeah, as a coach you want 100%. It was not 100%. You know? I'm not be so happy. It was good. We do a good job, 
what there are reasons that we get three goals against, and that we have to talk over, and that we talk not over the young kids, we talk over the older guys. They have to uh, make the better decisions on the ice, and uh, the rest was all okay. I was happy, but we have no points, so we can be 100 percent happy. But, but we have to work. I see a lot of things that we can do for next for Sunday, and I hope we win that. I hope you do too. Um, a final question for Bo. Um, you had a very rough start in the first 10 minutes of the first period. How did you pull your team out of that? Well, I wouldn't say it was a rough start. We were just not doing the, the things the correct way. You know, we, we had a really good week of practice. We guys worked hard. We had a good tempo. And we didn't come out as, uh, as good out of the gates as we wanted to. You know, we, uh, we over stick handle that puck and we try to make some some plays that were not not there and try to do a little bit uh, a little bit too much. You know, once we simplified it, you know, we talked about it pretty quick. Once it wasn't going our way, to uh, to simplify, to start doing the simple stuff, move our feet and get it going. So uh, uh, you got to work your way out of it when things don't go right way. So and uh, we were fortunate to do that. All right, and work it did. Um, I'd like to thank both gentlemen. Um, Frank, a very good and safe trip home with the players. And I'd love to see you next time. <laughs>